Hello and good evening from Jerusalem. Israel has conducted an intensive round of strikes against Hezbollah in Lebanon as they attempt to degrade its ability to operate both in Beirut and on its border with Israel. But reports of 28 health workers being killed in the past 24 hours shows the danger of the situation to the wider population. Tonight, on the West Bank, reports of at least 14 deaths after an Israeli airstrike on a Palestinian refugee camp. And the battle with Iran seemingly on hold for now. President Biden said today that he did not expect an Israeli retaliation for Tuesday's missile strikes immediately. Well, over the last 24 hours, the Israeli Air Force has continued its aerial campaign, targeting what it says is Hezbollah capabilities in southern Lebanon. Today, three large consecutive explosions were heard in southern Beirut. Sky's data and forensics unit has verified the locations of two of those strikes, including an airstrike to an apartment block in Daria in southern Beirut. In a moment, we'll hear from our international correspondent, John Sparks, who's in Beirut. But first, our security and defence editor, Deborah Haynes, has this report from northern Israel. A message of defiance from Iran, vowing victory. Also plastered on the side of missiles, images of the political leader of Hamas and the head of Hezbollah, both killed in Israeli strikes. The video released by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard purports to show last Tuesday's revenge attack on Israel, edited with a religious song used at times of war. Impossible to tell if these were the actual strikes. But the aim seems to be to demonstrate Iran's firepower in a fight where words and images are as much of a weapon as bullets and bombs. Despite the impression of destruction, Israel has insisted most of the incoming fire was intercepted. This is what's left of one of the missiles, shot down over open ground in the south. Yet satellite imagery suggests an Israeli air base did suffer a hit. This was the site on Sunday and again on Wednesday. A building on the right appears to have been damaged. The United States helped to defend Israel's skies from the onslaught. Its president was asked if he would allow Israel to strike back. We don't allow Israel, we advise Israel, and there's nothing going to happen today. We'll talk about that later. As the world waits to see how Israel will respond, its forces are already fighting on multiple other fronts against groups aligned with Iran. The biggest battle right now is across the border in Lebanon, where ground troops are locked in an offensive against Hezbollah. Israel's air defences are playing a key role in this war too. Here they respond to incoming Hezbollah fire. The threat to communities across the north is why Israel says it's fighting in Lebanon. An elderly woman lives in this house in a town a few miles back from the border. A rocket landed last week just as she stepped inside and out of danger. Her son is helping to tidy up. How is she? Uh, she is a strong woman. The local security chief says it's about time Israel went on the attack. We are fighting here. And we are protecting our home. We'll fight. Even if we need, we will die for it. And we will win. It's why Israel is pushing more troops into Lebanon. But this is tough terrain and a risky mission that's only part of a much wider war. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Northern Israel.